with just under two weeks before the new DSTV Premiership season kicks off, teams are showing off their new kits for the 2023-2024 campaign. One club that's going big with the reveal is Kaiser Chiefs. The team has swapped jersey sponsors going with Kappa this season. And it's all about paying tribute to the past and embracing the future. Now to talk more about the kit as well as looking ahead to the new season, we're joined by Marketing and Commercial Director Jessica Mutaum, along with Ricky Joseph, who is the head of Kappa SA. Thank you so much for your time and for stopping by into studio. I'm going to start with you, Ricky. Kappa has sponsored Kaiser Chiefs before. What was the reason or what informed the decision to return as sponsors for the Glamour Boys? It really wasn't a decision to return. Um, it really, every five to ten years, a mm. team like Kaiser Chiefs becomes available to sponsor. Um, these sponsorships are long deals and when the second opportunity came in the relaunch of Kappa South Africa, which was 12 years ago, it was not a decision. We yeah. wanted the biggest club back in our brand. Jessica, talk to me about the process <coughs> that you went through in terms of making sure that the jersey is available. I mean, you only made the announcement, I think, in November last year. So what has that process been like? I must say thank you to Kappa because the process was intense. I mean, negotiating a deal and then having the coming up with the designs, finalizing designs, and coming up with a range for the team, not just the jersey. There's a whole range. So it was, it was wonderful. Great team in Italy who worked with us, mm. and, and Ricky and the team here just did a fantastic job. Uh, Jessica's mentioning the design, Ricky. I want to bring you in to talk about the design. I mean, I can feel it's a really, really light jersey. I love the new patterning. And you did say, I saw in one of the press releases, that it's almost an ode, like a tribute to the past, but also looking ahead to the future. I'm also interested in the away jersey, which is green. That's new. Talk to me about the design. So I think, firstly, the home jersey is a tribute to the 1992 jersey where was part of the Kaiser chief success mm. in the Kappa brand. Um, it resembles the lightning strikes or what we call the zigzag effect, um, just in a modern take. Um, if you remember, the old jersey had it quite across the chest, yes, yes. whereas this time we've taken it right through the design of the jersey um, and obviously sticking to the golden black of, mm. um, of Kaiser Chiefs. The away jersey, you know, every season you have to get creative with an away jersey. There's no strict rules to that jersey. Um, Kaiser Chiefs home jersey will always be gold and black, but we wanted to introduce something really, really new, something different, and something that goes back to the grassroots and the heritage of the country mm -hmm. and the biggest club in South Africa. So the green resembles our natural beauty, the color of our country, um, the aspirational factor of Kaiser Chiefs being a national club of the country, and it's to get the supporters back into colors that mean something yeah. to them. And if you actually look closely to the green jersey, it's actually striped. Mm. And the detail in the second consecutive stripes is the whole detail of the Kaiser Chiefs Club. It lists 1970, the birth of the club, Soweto. Mm. It lists Amakosi. It's got the chief. It's got the badge. So there's a lot of detail in this jersey. It's not just a green jersey. Jess, how important was it for you to make sure that you do pay tribute to the, the jerseys before? Or the legends before because we hear Ricky talking about that a lot about going back to the traditional Kaiser Chiefs look how important was it for you to achieve that no that was key for us because first of all we know what we achieved with them uh, during that time but also to respect what uh, the legends have, uh, have achieved with mm. the jersey was key for us uh, and and the green for me uh, is very exciting because it also was important for us to select a color that we hadn't had with any other sponsor yeah. but also it's a symbolism of our growth of our relationship and where we are going so we're very excited about the colors and I think also the home jersey is so bold yes. and strong that's what I love about it the bold coloring is beautiful you can never go wrong with the, the gold and the black you can yeah. never go wrong with that I'm gonna stick with you Jess very quickly uh, we are looking ahead to the new season it's in fact just like just under two weeks that it's starting everything is going so quickly. Are the boys ready? Well, I think the boys are getting ready, and that's why we have a preseason. They went to uh, Tanzania recently, and the coaches are obviously looking and seeing what the changes they need to make, what they need to add, but certainly a lot of work happening behind the yeah. scenes. Ricky, we're speaking about the new season, and I want to know how this jersey is going to 
to help the players because you know a lot of them uh, some of them are sweat resistant some of them are lighter in fabric how has it been designed not just the patterning and the designing but how was it going to help the footballers play to their best well, that's, that's our aim. Mm. Um, the primary goal of Kappa, as we say, we're the technical sponsor. Mm. We're not just the sponsor. So our goal is to give the players the best ability to perform in the quality of our jerseys. And these are as good as a, a jersey gets in the world. Um, we've given the players everything they can do from yeah. a look, feel and technical perspective. Now they've got to go play ball. <laughs> now they've got to go play ball. Speaking of playing ball, Jessica, seven new signings. Um, very impressive signings also. We got to see a few of them in action uh, over the weekend. Um, plans to sign any more? Are we good? Well, the window's still open. It'll open so till September. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. certainly the, the coaches are going to look and see what they need to add, what they need to change. But interesting changes and excited that we have the new players and we're also integrating the players who came in earlier in, in the year mm. and, and making sure that we have a very strong team to compete on, on at the PSL. And of course there are going to be a lot of fans showing up at the stadiums to support the team. Ricky, is it available in all ages? <clears throat> it's, so one of the things we've really focused on is the fans, mm. as we call them our 12th players. So the, the, for the first time, Kaz Chiefs jerseys are going to be available from nine months old. Oh, wow. Yes. All the way through to adults, um, ladies, kids, junior sets, um, the works. And yeah. also what we've done, unfortunately or fortunately, a replica is not a cheap garment. Yes. So to give the fans accessibility to the Kappa and Kaz Chiefs partnership, we've introduced a massive range from caps to beanies to, to uh, T-shirts to golf shirts. So... The fans really have an access now, I think it's close to 48 items, mm. and every single item that the team wears is available to every fan across the country. I mentioned earlier in my intro that you guys have been big, but clearly bigger than I even <laughs> realized. <laughs> Jessica, uh, we don't have much time left, but let's talk a little bit about the technical team. We saw changes to the team. Yes. Um, Arthur Zwani is assistant coach, now Mole Finzeki is head coach. How is that working, and why, does, why is uh, Mole Finzeki the right person to lead the team as head coach? Well, first of all, our transformation happened internally, which was important for us. Uh, and yes, uh, he's the coach now in Seki, and I'm very excited for him. He has been part of the Chief Stable for uh, the whole season, you know, last mm. season. So it was very important to bring someone who understands the system, who understands wh wh where the team is going, who's been working with the technical team to select the players. Mm. So it just made sense, and we're here to support him. And it's wonderful to see him working with Arthur, who he's worked with in, yeah. the, in the national team. So the transition is happening, and I'm, I'm, I'm confident that they're going to do a fantastic job. Yeah, because they've already always had that relationship, yes. so they're a perfect combination to actually work together. Ricky, I just, I just want to ask you this question. We know that uh, Chiefs is quite popular in the Sadiq region. Did that make it easy for Papa to come on board once again? Chiefs is not just po uh, sorry, Chiefs is not just uh, famous and really uh, supported Everywhere. In, Everywhere. in the southern <laughs> area, but all over the world. If you saw the, the demand, even in the UK for these jerseys already has been incredible. Um, they, they really are a huge club. Um, and just with the support of Kappa Global and mm. the whole world, um, this is a big uh, feather in the cap for the Kappa brand globally. And what we want to give the team is, you know, we, and I see on the, the screen about the, the trophy drought. <laughs> the, the truth is that Kappa brings trophies. Yes. And we have literally brought every trophy to all the teams in the PSL we've sponsored. Mm. So I think besides for the beauty and the technical aspect of the jersey, I think we always say we put two people back onto the field, yeah. onto the jersey, and I think we're going to give Chiefs the ability to win a trophy this season.